Hi guys, it's the morning after we've had a vaccine yesterday. I mean last night. We're still alive. We haven't turned into zombies yet. <laughs> and one good news is Tony has had the vaccine as well because they've got spare ones yesterday evening at work. And um, yeah, instead of throwing it away, they're giving it to people who are in the vicinity. So which is one good thing. The vaccine that I've had, for all, for those of you asking which one, is the AstraZeneca. When you when you're given the vaccine, the doctors, the doctor will like ask you like series of questions, you know, as a standard procedure. You will be given a card with the name of the vaccine that you've had and the batch number, and you present that card after 12 weeks. After effects of the vaccine. Um, achy arm they've injected it on my right but the one that first ache is my left arm so see it's it's weird it has been 24 hours since I've had it that's where I've had my vaccine injection overnight I came home temperature wise I felt all right went to bed Woken up by a little bit of palpitations and then it sort of eased down and I went back to sleep. In the morning, straight away I've checked my temperature and it was 38. I felt feverish inside. I took paracetamol and then before I left for work, I checked my temperature again and it went down to 38 to 37.5. My arms feels like, I, it, how will I describe it? You know, when you go to a gym and you overworked yourself, that kind of feeling on your muscles. But funny enough, this arm, I didn't have the vaccination. It was this arm. This arm, I feel a bit of ache on the side here, but that's about it. But this arm is more like my joints joints here it's just aching i've checked my temperature again at work and it was 36.9 so i i put clothes on put uniform on and carry on as normal and then i went to work what i felt regarding the achings of the arm is also what my other colleagues have felt and uh Throughout the day, I felt like I've, I've described it to my colleague and uh, the way I described it, they reckon it's like a hot flush. You know, like it's really cold this morning, normally, it's, it's quite chilly. And then, because in some areas it's minus one, minus two. But then in the building, I felt like it's warm. So I've got to open the window and just stand by the window. To cool myself down my temperature at that time it was 36.8 after I, after a few hours it went down and then just feel weird because my hands are really sweaty and the soles of my feet are sweaty and cold so throughout the day most of the day i felt that way and then later this evening, it was, it was the other way around. It's more like, I'm really chilly. And when I checked my temperature, it was, it's gone the opposite round. It's like 34.4. I thought it's just the thermometer not working, you know? But then I keep rechecking, rechecking it. It still says the same thing, 34.4. So I've just given up. So I just like keep going you know keep walking to warm myself up in the car i've even asked tony to bring my my blanket so that i can use it in the car because i i'm that cold even now got coming into the lounge because what tony normally does is 
before he picked me up, he switched the heating on so the the lounge area is comfortable for me because I am in a what's it called warm environment, you know, in a care home and all that. So I noticed suddenly changes in temperature. So he he just like me to be warm, but when I came here tonight, I still feel a bit cold. I didn't bother checking my temperature because I knew it's just a reaction of the vaccination. I could still carry on feeling like this for the next 24 to 48 hours. So what I'll just be doing is just keep carry on taking paracetamol. I haven't got COVID. I didn't have virus at all. I've been regularly tested at work. LFD, PCR, PCR test, flow test. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird because people react to the vaccination differently. Um, also this morning when I woke up, I felt a um, slight headache, you know? And then I just, after I took paracetamol, it sort of like eased down. Perhaps it's the paracetamol masking it or somehow. That's all I could think of. This is what the effect or the reaction to be safe, you know, rather than having the virus, then I can put up with it. Our next dose will be in 12 weeks times. And I've seen reactions as well where in like, you're just really tired, you just want to sleep you know and your body feels so heavy when you wake up in the morning as well so yeah that's my covid vaccination experience and um the side effects i've got to what i felt now from the, from the reaction i have to lug it in on the yellow card scheme because um for all of you guys who are from the philippines Kung naakay ka ng mga reaction sa uh, vaccination, ano, ano, kung bakunahan ka, naakay mga reaction, labi na kung ang bakuna bago pa ganit nakagawa, bago pa ganit girelease. Ang kanang yellow card scheme is antunan ni mo i-report ang mga mga reaction nga imong nasinati about ana nga bak bakuna para ma ma-aware pud um, ang ilahang uh, so itawag ani oi eh? ilang health authority dire pa ma-aware pud sila para next time kabalo na sila kung what to expect you know because labi na karon kani nga vaccine is baguhay pa gyud diba we're one of the we're one of the few that had the vaccine and when it comes to Tony as well, his reaction is different to mine. His was, because yesterday he had his vaccination because they've got a spare vaccine from work. So instead of throwing it away, they're giving it to people who are around the area. And luckily, Tony was picking me up. So they've asked me if... if if he is willing to have it and yeah I said yes and then he was so right when he had a vaccine he didn't feel anything heaviness on the arm nothing like that but then about when he was in bed I think he because he, he went to bed before me I had a tickly cough tickly throat for about half an hour to an hour and then after that it sort of like settled down and then he slept and when he woke up this morning i've asked him how's his heart arm how 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 he felt he said he's fine but then later on his arm starting to feel heavy and uh, he feels not 100 percent like he feels really tired so his reaction isn't the same as mine so in him is is like he's only got the tickly cough achy arm really tired like about three but mine is is just all sorts 
so different people react differently to the vaccine but then hopefully soon our body will start building up building up immunity to it so yeah it's one good thing although having the vaccination is not a guarantee sa mga tao sa Pilipinas no kung nabakunahan mo dili na siya guarantee na ka nang immune na mo dili na mo matakdan na agya ko possibility na matakdan mo kaso lang ang inyong mga simptomas o matakdan mo dili siya grabe kaayo mo na purpose sa kanang bakuna unya ang pingit ta kanunay kay na ako'y nadungga na report balita man siya kasi tunin man ang nabalita sa ako ah, news na ang kanak ko nung kanak ko nung bago nga strain karon mas mas deadly siya kaysa sa first strain sa virus so first strain na virus mas deadly ni ang bago nga strain so ang pingit ka ayo ta kanunay no ang pingit mask hand wash yun, hand washing, mask, may limpi yun sa palibot niya. Social distance yun yun na pirmi para safety ang atong kagalingon, ingon man ang atong pamilya o mga mahal sa kinabuhi, no? Be responsible lang yun na ba? Mauna siya, guys. Ang ako ang, ang mo ang experience nito, ni. Eh.